Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to talk about my philosophies behind what I do as a drummer when it comes to learning new things or preparing myself for recording or even concepts that I use when I'm teaching my students. So the philosophy is basically from the practice pad to the drum kit to the actual performance, whether that's a recording or a live gig or some other performance that you have in mind. And really the idea here is that I want to take a pattern, it's a fill-in in this case, which is quite, a, quite an aggressive fill, and I wanted to show you how I'd go about learning it, assuming that this is a brand new pattern for me and I needed to work on it to get better before I even consider playing it behind the drum kit. So this is a philosophy that I've used for a really long time and I'm hoping that you guys can pick up on the concepts I use and just the general etiquette of how I go through learning something new. So what we're going to do is we're going to check out the pattern and it's going to appear here on the screen. And it's a fill-in, it's worth one bar, so we're counting in 4-4 four, four time here, one, two, three, four. It's largely driven by sextuplets, and there's a couple of unique things about it. For instance, there's a six-stroke roll, there's some right-left-left -left motions, and there's some fast single-stroke blasts as well. Now the version you're seeing here is the, the end result, the full orchestration of what I wanted to give to you today. That's the main idea. But what I want to do is go through the process of learning it on a practice pad, stripping it right back down to its basics and building it up like you're a new student trying to learn it for the very first time. So in a moment we're going to head into my um, the, the, the control room and sit down with a practice pad and I'll break it all down for you. But I think like my, my reason for wanting to do this kind of video is that this sort of concept gets lost, especially in a world where everyone wants, everyone wants something for free and really quickly, where we don't have the patience to practice and enjoy the journey of practicing. So I, I would say all of my students are guilty of this and me from time to time of not willing to go back to the basics of something in order to build it up and get incredibly good at it. Not allowing the muscle memory to develop over a period of time um, so that you can play the fill in a lot more effortlessly. The way that I go through this process, it actually cuts down your time massively in the long run. Um, it may feel like this is the long way around, but trust me, when you get good at this process, it's definitely um, an incredibly nice shortcut in the long run of just getting, getting the chop down and then getting behind the kit and playing it effectively. So we'll break it down in lots of different ways. We'll put it to a metronome if you are inclined to want to do that, or of course you don't have to do it to the metronome if you don't want to. And then the end result, we'll be hearing it in full context groove with the new fill-in that we're trying to learn today, hearing it in all its glory and basically making sure that it's ready for the recording session or for the live show or whatever performance you have in mind. So, now that you've seen the pattern, let's head over to my control room and start doing it on the practice pad. So at the moment we're just sat in my recording studio in the control room and I'm here with my practice pad which is very much the beginning of our journey when we're learning new patterns, particularly if you don't have things like the muscle memory in place in order to play the pattern effectively. So regardless of what I'm practicing, I usually like to start on something like a practice pad and this is the Evans Real Feel. And really, at this point, it's about getting familiar with the actual pattern, making sure that you can actually play the pattern well enough, whether it's slow or fast, whatever you're trying to achieve. In this case, I'm gonna be taking you right through the process of starting it incredibly slow and smooth up to a much faster tempo, which is the end goal in this instance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down the pattern, assuming that you don't know how to play the pattern yourself, like uh, you're, you're really new to this particular pattern. And then I'm gonna show you how I break it down build it up again and get it ready to play effectively on the drum kit. So let's start on the practice pad.
Okay, so we've gone through the basic process of learning the pattern on the practice pad. We've learned to reverse engineer certain parts of it. We've learned to play it along to a click and then we've learned to bring it all together again. And hopefully at this stage, you're feeling a lot more confident with the pattern. And by the way, this process can take a really long time depending on how far you are into your journey as a drummer. If you're a beginner, this type of thing could take you weeks, months, even years to really nail this, which I know sounds like a, a really long time, but hopefully you're in no rush and just doing it for the love of it. For some people, this could be as short as five minutes before they're ready to start shredding behind the drums, okay? But that's just the concept um, of where I would start, pretty much the genesis of learning something. Now, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you it on the drums. I'm gonna show you it individually as a fill-in and then I'm gonna bring in a groove context. I'm not gonna use a click for this, we're just gonna have some fun now jamming it. And then I assume that if you guys can do this, you're pretty much ready to bring it to the live show or the recording session. So let's have a little listen. And there we go, we've taken it from understanding the idea to playing it on the practice pad, to playing it with a metronome, and then the end result is playing it on the drums, which is you know the, the most gratifying part of this process. And this is a really, really good process that works with pretty much 99.9% .9 of the patterns you'll ever learn. And of course, you'll pick up some tricks along the way and some workflows of how you like to um, learn or even teach yourself. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a philosophy that I've pretty much had for 20 years of got an idea, um, I need to learn that idea and then I need to put it in context with something so that I've got like a groove or a fill-in that complements the groove. Whatever I'm trying to learn, I've always got like the full picture or the full scenario, which is like pretty much the end result and the point I'm trying to get across. This is a philosophy that will never go for me either. This is something that I will do for the rest of my life as I'm enjoying and learning new patterns. So I really hope that you guys got something from it today. I really hope that's inspired you to want to go and learn something new, maybe something that you didn't think you'd be able to play, but taking this really sensible breakdown approach gets you the results that you need. If you've had um, a similar scenario like this and you want to share some thoughts, then please leave me a comment below. And of course, you can ask me any questions as well about the whole process. But I hope you guys dig that. I hope you dig my philosophy and I'm hoping to see you guys real soon. Take care.